I'm back, yes, again, for a second video today. Um, wish me luck when I tried to do this the other day when I did my talk on Absolute Boyfriend. Um, my video got blocked again by a different thing this time. Which this time it was total bullshit. I had a huge disclaimer on the video. I put credit to the artist. Um, the album and to the record label and everyone I talked to about it said that that shouldn't have happened and when I researched it apparently there's a certain company and they're getting like false disclaimers because I didn't think Polyphia was through Orange Music or whatever but maybe because they are more indie but I don't know but I just I use Polyphia in a lot of my videos and that was the first time it got, um, blocked. There's a Depeche Mode one, I understand, because I didn't put a big disclaimer on there, and I don't know, unless there really is a lot of false, um, copyright stuff happening, because I've seen that's going on, so, <laughs> so, we'll see, we'll see, um, might happen again, might not, this might be fine, um, my other video op uploaded, fine, so, um, yeah, yeah, um, anyway, the reason why I'm making another video is that I want to do a brief talk, it might not be so brief, I don't know, we'll find out, um, as you know, I do want to, um, do webcomic, videos, because I did the one on Castle, Castle Swimmer, and a lot of people liked it, um, well, because it's Castle Swimmer, and it's amazing, and, um, Wendy Lane Martin actually, like, liked and shared my post on Twitter with my video on there, so I was pretty happy about that, um, I'm gonna do a series of videos on this specific, um, Yanawa, um, but this one is gonna be like an introduction video, I'm not gonna go into a lot of depth in it yet, I'll wait to do that, cause, um, a lot of these chapters I read online, um, not through the Glazine or Gliz app, so, not officially licensed, so I need to rebuy those chap those episodes so I can talk about them, because I read them on Mangaka a lot, a long time ago. So, that being said, this is just going to be a brief overview video about um, a very favorite among a lot of people, a lot of BL fanatics, yow, yow, yowie fanatics, etc, 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 is Killing Stalking. I have said I would do a video on this one for a while, and there is just so fucking much I want to discuss in Killing Stalking. So... And I actually have some shit posts pulled up on my Tumblr here to show y'all because that's one of my favorite things about killing stalking is seeing all the shit posts. They're great. I love what people do with their time just to make these silly memes and stuff with killing stalking, and it's great. It's great. Um. Uh, I have a lot I want to show, but I'll just pick a few. Um, a lot of you know, Killing Stalking isn't the most well-liked um, webcomic. It is very um, different. It is very dark. It is very fucked up. Um, I like it for the horror aspect of it. I love analyzing the characters and kind of going into it from that kind of view. A lot of people like it for the messed up smut in it. 
that's not really for me. I really hate chapters that are smut based. I'm like, ugh, can we go back to the whole Stockholm Syndrome thing going on here? I kind of want to like see what's go. you know, I want more of the plot basically. And, um, so when I first read Killing Stalking, I saw someone talking about it on Tumblr. They were talking about, they were talking about a movie, actually. Um, I still have not found it, I forgot what it's called. It's in the depths of my Tumblr somewhere. But this, uh, poster talked about, um, this movie and that they were really intrigued by because it reminded them a lot of Killing Stalking. It was about this creepy, abusive, dark horror horror story that was like heavily uh, BL themed and she was like oh yeah it reminds me a lot of Killing Stalking and I'm like what the fuck is Killing Stalking? I'm like wait everyone's talking about on my Tumblr. What is this? And this was whenever it first came out. Um. Because everyone went from talking about Yuri on Ice to Killing Stalking. I'm like, what is this? And I looked it up and I was like, what is this? And I read it and I'm like, what is this? Um. Just, yeah. The title says it all. Killing stalking killing stalking so for those of you who do not know killing stalking is about uh you know you can kind of tell in this picture right here so we got um saying woo here and we got bum here um so the bum is stalker he is the stalker in the series in the story he is in love with sing woo here stalking him has um figured out how to find out the passcode to get into his house yeah yeah and he does that and he almost gets caught but then the police leave, which I would show you all of this, but it just takes too long to scroll through all the panels and everything. I learned that the hard way in Castle Swimmer. But he almost gets caught. And this is all in the prologue. This isn't like ruining anything. He almost gets caught. He doesn't. He doesn't. And he gets in the house. And he looks around. Being all creepy, fondling on Sengmu sheets and blah 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 blah, because he's. That's what he does, apparently. And then. He. Uh, I can't remember if it's in the closet or he goes in his basement. It's one of the. It's one of the two. And he finds a girl, like, tied up in there, and he's like, what the fuck? And that. And Sang Woo has found them, and you just <clears throat> let me see if I can get to that panel real quick because that's a real cool, that's a real cool pa panel. I have to be on the website to look at this because for some reason, Killing Stalking always disappears on the app. Um. Yeah, this cool panel right here. So, that gives you, oh, and here you, God, her Kogi, or Ko, I'm going to guess it's Kogi's art style has changed, has improved so much. But anyway, he says, welcome to my home life. And yeah, yeah. So, um... Sang Woo is a psychopath. I don't know if he's exactly a psychopath. I have to 
look into that, see if it's the trick of that. But Sang Woo is a serial killer. Like, legitimately a serial killer. And he's manipulative as fuck. He is charming and re to everyone else. No one could ever guess that he is this mass murderer who is fucked up. Major, major mommy issues. Uh, major mommy issues. And... We got the story of the serial killer and Bomb, who is a stalker. Yeah, yeah, that's the main plot. That is the basic premise of killing stalking. And you go from there and you go on this weird ride. This weird ride on killing stalking. And... This weird, bizarre BL, which, the BL is fine in it, but it's really weird because on Tumblr everybody is like, fuck Sangwoo, we just want Bum free, and I'm like, you do realize that Bum is like, I mean, he didn't kill anybody, he hasn't killed anybody, he definitely has reasons for the way he is. But he's still a stalker. Um, we all joke, we're like, Sang Woo is a post on Tumblr, which there's no way I could find it. It's probably in the very beginning of the KS tag, but Sang Woo, who you think is a cinnamon roll, but is not a cinnamon roll. Bum, who you don't think is a cinnamon roll, but is a cinnamon roll. And Sang Bae, who looks like a cinnamon roll and is a cinnamon roll. Um, uh, that one I think is kind of wavy on that. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Sang Bae, he's another character in this story. He shows up more a little bit later on, but he has found Sang Woo suspicious from the very beginning and he's been on him. And the story will go into that. Um, but real quick, I am gonna go into a huge spoiler about, um, the ending real quick. So, if you have not finished Killing Stalking, I guess stop the video here. Um, I just have to get this out real quick and see if anyone else was on my page with me or not. So, here we go. So at the ending of Killing Stalking and it's alright like I'm not I'm not opposed to the ending like Sangwoo definitely got what he deserved like definitely Bum who everyone hoped was gonna have this happy ending like could have but he's crazy now well he was already kind of messed up he's super crazy now and Pretty sure it implied at the end there that he, you know, Sang Woo was in his head and he was following them around and got hit by a bus. Pretty sure that's how that went down. Yep. But, 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 the Sang Mei got everything he deserved. He got his reward his medal, he's back on the police, blah 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 blah, he needs to get with um, Lee, they need to be boyfriends and live together in happiness for the rest of their lives, but, so let's, let's take a second here, I want to talk about how I wanted Killing Stalking to end, I had a many conversations about this with one of my Twitter friends, and I... Why killing stalking? It was already all messed, all sorts of messed up, and I just wanted. Maybe it's because I've watched too many horror movies. I don't know, but I wanted like a mass suicide. Not mass suicide. I wanted Bum and Sangwoo to just go on this rampage. Um, 
together and they're about to like get caught and sorry um what was i saying oh yes this huge rampage and i was like you know they're about to get caught and the cops are coming and then like sangwoo pressures bum into accepting a you know basically like a double ma mass suicide with each other and um like they kill each other together at the same time um i thought that would have been a very dark poetic ending to their story because to the very end it would have been sangwoo manipulating bum to the very last second using him for his demise basically um I was real hoping something like that was gonna happen alas that's not what I got I got something very different and that's fine I'm still fine with the ending like it's it is what it is but yeah yeah that's a uh, that's the ending killing stalking right there um, well, there's more to it, but I'm not going to go in, into depth. I'm actually going to make a series of videos and go in depth. If, probably um, three chap, probably do a video for every three chapters and talk about them. Um, hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, so, that's kind of what I was wanting to do for these videos. And... If y'all have not played on Tumblr, I'm not on it much anymore, mostly on Twitter, but I get on Tumblr every once in a while, and I used to just get on there and look at Killing Stalking shit posts for like hours at a time, and it was great. And I have a few here that are just great. Just, um, they're just so, they're just great. They're just great. Um, I have even more, but, um, um, you know, whatever. Um, so I have this one here on a Monopoly board. We have, um, Sing Bay here. We got him, you know, as the go to jail, the police officer. We got Sing Woo here in jail. And then we have Bum here at the very bottom, free free bum so that one's a pretty good one this one i'm not gonna show you the whole thing but you'll get an idea of what this person had in mind here this this kid's story of sangwoo looking for his mom look at all these characters i i always i looked at all these at like three in the morning oh my god look oh my god And then it's showing like, yep, yep. Alright, here's another one. But, you know, because you know, Bum had his broken legs for so long. I think. I probably have more here. Um. For Sang Woo having such um, traits like Ted Bundy, it's a. Uh, oh! This is a great one. This is a great one. This is probably my favorite. I have this saved on my phone somewhere. This is my mom. Um, that's all I'm gonna show on those. Um, what was I saying? Oh, for saying Wu, they have such similar traits and personality to Ted Bundy. Um, because he's smart, he's charming, he's charismatic. But, Ted Bundy got away with that for a very, very long time. Where saying Wu, I feel like, even though he has lots of traits similar, he is very sloppy. I mean, at the end of, I think it's season two, the end of season two, I might be at the end of season one, no, I think, whatever, whatever, whenever Sing Woo and Bum kill 
Jay Un or whatever her what what the bitch that fucking bitch whatever her name is and I kill her together and I remember everyone on Tumblr was just like what the fuck Sang Woo like are you a fucking idiot you pick somebody who rich has a powerful father and you do it sloppily Oh, oh. Oh, same way. Oh. But anyway, that's just my kind of killing stalking ramble for right now. I will do a series of videos where I'll talk about every couple chapters for every video and kind of talk about them. Um, I'm going to be talking about serial killers a lot during this because there's a lot to talk about in this series. And if some of you want me to talk about the BL stuff in it I will but that's not really why I read Killing Stalking it's not why I like it so that's kind of a different story in that premise so I don't know I might or I may not or I might not do more videos this is kind of a hard one to talk about because it's it's an interesting one to discuss and I don't know we'll see We'll see. Um, but anyway, I'm going to end it there. This video went, is very long and went on for, it went by just like that. So, oh well. But anyway, um, Killing Stalking, check it out maybe if you think you're going to be into it. If not, alright. And if you're at this far in the video, then I'm guessing you have already read it. Because I said I was going to talk about a huge spoiler, and I did. Um, but anyway, alright, 